what is a bolted joint the joint made with with the help of bolt is it right or not joint made with with the help of bolts and nuts bolts and nuts sometimes bolt may be used only bolt may be used not need not be used okay or only bolts so some machines requires some members have to be joined onto the surface of the machines so in such cases holes threaded holes were made in the machines and simply bolts can be inserted you need not use nuts in that case so either you can use bolts and nuts or only bolts so such joints are called as bolted joints so this bolted joint basically consists of a bolt <coughs> like this okay so this bolt consists of two portions so this one is called as head head of the bolt and this is called as shank of the bolt we have discussed all these things in the machine drawing this is the head of the bolt and this is the shank of the bolt and the shank of the bolt consists of threads, threads like this the threads may be laid over the part of the surface or over the entire surface the threads may be laid depending on the requirement okay right and this is the head the head can be made in different shapes mostly we use hexagonal heads and sometimes the square heads are also used okay some and different types of forms of heads are there that we have discussed in the machine drawing okay so for example this is a square headed sorry a hexagonal headed bolt okay and on which some threads are formed and now here we have another member called as nut so this nut is a cylindrical component which consists of a hole this hole is also a threaded hole yes this hole consists of threads so those threads are called as internal threads here the bolt consists of threads on its surface so these are called as external threads so they they can be seen directly but you cannot see the threads internal threads in the nut unless you cut it unless you section it you cannot see okay so this is bolt and nut now the members to be joined are made with holes and the diameter of the hole must be exactly equal to the diameter of the bolt shank okay and then this bolt shank is inserted into it finally at the other end this nut is inserted and tightened so that it forms a solid joint so this is a bolt and nut or bolted joint